Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and welcome back to the channel. So, Dauntless, this is going to be June's first look video. This is a game that just recently came out. It's been beta for a little while, but uh, I have to say, I I just downloaded it like last night, and I was hooked right off the bat. I really like everything about it so far. So we're gonna go ahead and dive into it. I'm gonna give you a first look, show you kind of what happens after you create your character, and. Uh, I'd be interested to know what you guys think, but first, if you just now find this channel and you want to stay up to date with everything I have going on here, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. So this is Dauntless. It is by Epic. And here is my character that I have going on right now. Now this is after the intro scene and I've done some quests and stuff like that. But you can see, you can see the art style here and everything. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this beginning area here. We're gonna go out on a mission and uh, I'm just gonna kind of show you the basics of the game here. But I'm really having a lot of fun with this. It is, it is free to play. It is also cross-platform between Xbox One, PS4 and PlayStation, which is, Awesome. All right. So uh, we're going to go ahead and kind of look around here. So this is kind of, this is the area where you've got, where you get some quests. This is your hub. There's this uh, quest that I have to kind of pick up these things here. But uh, let's go ahead and turn in this quest right here. All right. So crafting. This is all crafting. This is really cool. You're going out here. You're fighting these behemoths. All right. Um, let's see. What do we got? Amateur alchemist. What do we get? Gather ingredients for Boson Marcus Boer. All right. So use Blitz Tonic on a hunt. All right. So that's kind of that's the quest I'm on right now. I have to use this Blitz Tonic while on a hunt. We're gonna do that in this next time around. So let's go ahead and get out of here. Let's show you the character screen really quick. So here we are, and um, let's go ahead and uh, we've got our map. Go ahead and take a look at that. There's my quest right there that I have to do, which is pursuit, and you click on that. And uh, I can click on these different hunts here. So here's a couple hunts that I have to do right now. These two here, I previously did. Quest log tells you, obviously, you know, kind of tells you what you need to do. Go forth and slay, amateur alchemist. So it tells you what you need to do. Um, pretty basic there. Hunt pass. So this is something that's pretty cool. So this is something that I've seen in another game. So on the upper portion, the basic there, that's the free, right? So as you complete your quests and stuff like that, challenges and things like that, you're going to go ahead and progress through the different, I mean, I can keep hitting RB here, and through the different rewards. That bottom part, that's the elite section. I can go ahead and hit X here. And uh, you have Elite Hunt Pass and you have Elite Hunt Pass Bundle here. It uses the Platinum down there, which is 2400 over for the bundle and 1000 over there just for the regular Hunt path Pass. But you unlock that and it gives you it gives you the basic rewards as well as the Elite Rewards. So I've seen something similar to that in another game that I play on mobile. And I think it's pretty cool because it kind of you still get the rewards. But if you want to put a little extra into it, then you get a little bit extra out of it. All right, mastery. These just has to do these different objectives that you have to complete through whether it's a monster here or whether it's an, uh, a weapon here. I mean, it's pretty cool. A whole bunch of stuff for you to be able to work through. People who like to complete quests or challenges or objectives, things like that, to continue to build your character and make them stronger in, in different weapons and against different monsters, I think is pretty cool. Load out, you go in here, and this is where you... So right now, this is my guy. I got all Nasher armor right now. I do have another set that I completed. But uh, you can go in here, and you can pick your loadout. So you got your typical, your weapon, you've got your armor, and then you have a lantern. Pretty cool. It's just... Uh, there it is right there on the back. Look at that right there. It is that little, <laughs> it's that little thing on his butt. Anyway, uh, and that's something that you use to communicate in the game with other people in the game. Kind of weird, but still cool. All right, personality. This is kind of where you you customize yourself just a little bit more with title and sigil and emotes and things like that. There's a ton of emotes here too. I mean, I don't have anything here unlocked other than kind of what comes with it, right? And then uh, signal flare, you get different animations and effects for that, which is kind of cool. 
uh, hunt arrival. So when you go on scene, you got some pretty cool hunt arrivals here. Um, I don't know that you can see. Can't see any of it, can you? There you go. <laughs> That's the face plant one. So we <laughs> let's look at this one over here. Uh, look at that. There we go. Kuna. It's a log with a kunai. That's very Naruto esque. <laughs> That's pretty cool. What's this one here? Crouching and hidden. <laughs> I love I love the humor and everything that they put in this game. It's very cool. Uh, let's take a look at the couple of the emotes here. What's this one here? So uh, by call of the canine. Oh, that's pretty cool. What is that that he did there? Uh, let's go ahead and look. Peaceful meditation. What else do we got? Uh, there's this one here. This is a very... The log always reminds me of Naruto. <laughs> For some reason. Check that out. All right. Anyway, so yeah, there's some cool emotes and stuff like that that they have in here. Some uh, I haven't seen any of the titles yet because I don't have any. All right. And then you have the move list. Just kind of tells you where your light and heavy attacks are, what RB does, things like that. And then uh, over here on the right-hand side, some additional information there. All right. So um, that's the character screens and stuff like that. And this is your beginning area. Uh, you got different stores and things like that around here. So let's go ahead and go into, we're going to run into a battle. Just kind of show what that is. But this area here, oh, here's something else for me to pick up. This area here is pretty cool. I like, I like the artwork. I really do. I mean, this place is huge. Look at this place. Okay, that's kind of going fast, but there we go. Dr. Minecraft over there. <laughs> that's funny. And you can see the icons up in the top of the screen there, kind of showing you what's where. There's a lantern shop over there, armor shop over there. Pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to run out here, and we're going to do a hunt and just kind of take a look at that. All right, here we go. Pursuit. We're going to go ahead and do the Frost Behemoth. Lesser Boreas. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, it's going up there. You see at the top of the screen, it says Finding Hunt. So it's finding a party for me. Because uh, you go out and you monster hunt with a bunch of different people. You don't want to monster hunt on your own. You know, that's not, that's not very safe. <laughs> While we wait for kind of this... I'll show you some more of this area here. And uh, actually, there's this really cool oh, match found. There's this cool secret. I don't know if it's a secret, but it's kind of a cool area that I found um, right over here. We got 20 seconds. I can kind of show you where it starts. So you go down here. Ah, oh, 10 seconds left. I don't know if I'm going to make it. No, no, it's over here. Six. All right, over here. Walk up this tunnel. Walk that far. Go as far as you can up this tunnel over here, and you'll get to this kind of this cool cave, this crystal cave, and see like that. There's nothing there, but it's kind of cool to find little areas like that. I don't know if it's going to be something later on, but it's kind of cool to find little things like that. These little nooks and crannies, right? All right, so this is where I am. Uh, I am ready, so I'm going to do right trigger, letting everybody know I'm ready, and then. Uh, we're just going to wait for everybody else here. Look at this. Everybody else here pretty much has this Nasher armor as well. The dude over there, that dude, Maklovic, Maklovic, he's got some, he's got a cool helmet there. And we're just going to wait for it to start. Threat level. So it gives us all the information over there on the right hand side of the screen. So behemoth type is going to be a frost. I have a, I have a fire imbued weapon. So that'll help there. So with blaze weapons, boom, increase and frost armor, which I don't have. I just got regular armor but you do get an increase in defense there. And then uh, if you were to use a frost weapon or blaze armor, you would have a decreased decreased damage and decreased defense there. All right, all three of us are ready. I don't see a fourth. Typically there's a fourth person. You can see that line, a glowing circle over there to the right of me that nobody's filling, but you know what, it'll work. All right, down there in the bottom right, just a few more seconds left, there we go. So just three of us. 
We're going to get dropped off. All right, let's see what we're doing here. Oh, look at that, right trigger to sprint. So still learning the basics here. I just started this yesterday. Press A to jump. Just started this yesterday, and uh, like I said, I'm pretty well addicted to this thing. Remember, I gotta use this blitz in here. All right, I'm gonna use my X abilities here to start hacking away at him. You know what? Uh, the B button here does my dodge. And then we'll just start whacking him. You know, um, it's very Monster Hunter-esque. I'm gonna see if I whack his tail off here. Whoa, move. Now, move away over here. Now, let's see. Uh, do I have enough? Yeah, so on the upper left-hand side of my screen, you can see that icon, that blue kind of icon flashing. If I hit RB, then I'm going to get a special special ability here. Right? Oh, he's immune. Look at that. What's up with that? It says I'm supposed to get more damage over here. Not cool. All right, now, if you look at the top right-hand side of the screen... Wow, this guy's really after me, isn't he? Um, then you'll see a little triangle there. I'm at 8% right now. <laughs> That's the health of this guy here. We got to get him up. He's immune right now to this weapon. He's uh, he's immune. I mean, not immune, but I'm sorry. He's, uh, he's at 9%. We got to get that to 100% damage. So I think uh, maybe get rid of these guys while he's immune. Right? Let's see if that works. Again, I, I'm very new, but oh my gosh, a lot of fun. Oh, what happened over there? Man, this is kind of a tougher fight to start out. Oh, but look. Okay, do I get, so I'm at 17, we're at 17% of this guy's health. And 18. So killing these little guys helps helps uh, get through his uh, defense, right? Really helps with his he with uh, taking his health down. All right, all right. Sheath weapon there. Get back over there. Okay, my, all right, my sp special is back. I'm going to hit RB. There we go. Now we're doing some good damage to him. Look at all that damage going there. I do need some health, so I'm going to hit my up on the D-pad. Let's go ahead and use Blitz, because that's something that we need to use. We're at 24%. Look at that. All right, let's keep going. Man, we gotta get rid of some of these guys. They're causing a problem here. All right, so we use the blitz. Man. What is he at? He's at 27%. Boom. Got it. 27%. All right. So, you know, maybe not. So, I don't know what that 27% is up there now, but we got him. I got an S plus rank, and the team gets an S rank. So, you get an individual rank as well as a team rank, which is very cool. And uh, look at that. That only took us, what, uh, four and a half minutes in order to get through that. All right. I don't know what happened to the camera. The camera's dead. I apologize for that. Let's go ahead. We're going to continue through this. Very cool. So on the left-hand side, you see the loot. On the right-hand side, it just shows Slayer progression. You are the Slayer in this game. So it shows me all my rewards and kind of how I'm progressing through the different stuff. Look at that. Hunt Bo Boreas. 
uh, one of one. Hunt 10 behemoths with any sword. I got three of 10 on there, so um, let's go ahead and move over there so you can kind of see what else we have over there. All right, now over on the right-hand side, you see bonus Elite Hunt Pass. So the Elite Hunt, pa hunt Pass must be unlocked for the Elite Hunt Pass bonus loot. So again, to get some additional rewards there, then you need to do that. So let's go ahead and leave the hunt. All right, and we are back in Ramsgate. Now, you see this guy over here. I don't know how well you can see, but this guy right here, right to my right, J Rent 85 That's the other armor that I've, that I've gone ahead and crafted as well. All right, everybody, that's what I had to show you tonight. Dauntless, uh, really having a lot of fun with this. It is free to play, like I said before, cross-platform with Xbox One, PS4, and, and uh, PC. Um, I'm enjoying it. I'd really be interested to hear from you out there. Who is playing this? Are you enjoying the game? And what's your favorite weapon? I'm not sure yet. I've only played with the sword right now, I'm working my way through the quests and stuff like that. So I haven't played with all the different weapons yet, but I'm really enjoying this game. So I'm curious what you guys' thoughts are on this first look video for June. It is June, right? Oh my gosh. Wow, this year is going by fast. All right, as always, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everyone. We'll talk to you next time.